In this segment, we're going to use the ruler tool in Photoshop, and we can get a lot of accuracy with this tool. First, we, uh, I just made a new document, <clears throat> and one thing you want to make sure that's showing uh, from the get-go is your rulers. To find the rulers, just click on View once, and then go down to Rulers, and click on that. And you'll see uh, you have an XY axis now and, um, that's measured in pixels by default here and just so you know um, up in the upper left hand corner that can be reset to zero because um, at any point if you wanted to make uh, the location of the zero X or Y different you can just click and drag and say if I wanted zero to occur right there now our zeros are occurring there but for now, we'll just leave that in the upper right-hand corner, uh, upper left-hand corner. And um, I'm going to make my first uh, line with the brush tool here. I'm just going to click and hold with the shift key straight down. Now, if I want something that is equidistant from here to the edge, um, this is where our measurement tool comes in handy. And you'll find that under the eyedropper tool. If you click on the eyedropper and hold, you'll see the measurement tool at the bottom. Just let go, and now we're going to basically click once and holding down the shift key to keep it totally straight, I'll go right to the edge and find out how far a distance that is. And when I let go, it tells us that it is 144 pixels um, down and then 52 pixels over. So um, using that, you can actually move it, place it someplace on the canvas, anywhere you want. Um, just make sure that when you're, when you're placing it that your cursor changes to the pointer. Otherwise, you'll start redrawing. So again, we'll just hold down the Shift key you make sure that our cursor is set to a pointer, drag it over, and then I know exactly where it's at. Um, this can also be used in combination with the rulers here. You can use uh, non-printable guides just by clicking once, dragging out to that second point that I want, because uh, you'll see when I switch to the brush that our ruler disappears. And now I can just carefully draw over that guide that I drew. Um, so you can use guides as well as the ruler to uh, make equidistance measurements and um, you can use it freeform without the shift key and you can always reset it hitting the clear button. And that's how you use the measuring tool.